So when you make 3D plastics, sorry, when you print 3D stuff using 3D printer like plastics, there's a lot of things that might change how much resistance the whole thing is for flowing through it. The, temp the material contains, obviously, the temperature, the pressure you're pressing it. Some things don't, um, the resistance changes with pressure, like ketchup when you're squeezing it, or oobleck, or shampoo in very complex ways. Humidity, but also it can stick to surfaces, and if it depending on how you're drawing it along the surface, that might cause vibrations that move stuff faster or slower. How much it sticks to the surface that you're printing it on from the last day, if you're moving it up and down. But it might be even more complex if you change materials, where you might have to change material settings. What if you're using something that you don't know this once, or it's not homogenous as much? Like an example of it might not be as homogenous, might be what if you have like a recycled material? or something that you're trying to 3D print. So maybe installing resistance meters in part of the 3D print head that can change, measure change the resistance and stuff on flow rates, could maybe lead to 3D printers that can dynamically change without you playing around the settings, letting for more materials to be printed with a better quality, including recycled materials. So thank you very much for listening. It really helps Jen out. I'm trying to use a thousand subscribers and me on 4,000 watts house. It's really hard to really help I think you do it. Again, thank you very much. Goodbye.